Hey, my name is Askin. Welcome to this presentation of what our team call a video multi-controller. We are a team of mechanical engineering students that in collaboration with the video hardware manufacturer Skahoy have made a working multi-controller prototype. The collaboration has been excellent due to Skahoy's expertise in customized control solutions. The idea came from working on one-man video productions controlling both PTZ cameras and video switcher. Roughly the idea is to combine the interfaces from the PTZ and switch control to improve the workflow and the production result. Hi, my name is Christina. I want to tell you about the ergonomics in our multi-controller. Our goal was to create a product including the most important features, but also a product that is comfortable to interact with. The wish is to increase productivity and decrease the number of possible work-related injuries. The way to make the multi-controller ergonomic involves different measurements of a human hand. Among others, the length of the index finger and the hand width. Some of the most important results of the project are the level difference of the buttons on the back of the multi-controller, together with the horizontal displacement and the supporting handle for the wrist. Hello, my name is Mas. I'm going to tell you about the process designing the shell of the joystick. The shell is modeled using computer-edited design. A big part of the design process has been to make the model dynamic parametric. The dynamic parametric feature enables that the joystick can be adjusted in several parameters. In this manner, you have the advantage of easily customizing the shell to a specific hand size. This maximizes the ergonomic experience of the product, which has been highly prioritized in the project. Due to additive manufacturing, the manufacturing of the customized shells can be done highly cost efficient. Hi, my name is Daniel and I'm here to give you a short presentation of our prototype with some of the main features. You can cut between two cameras in motion. You can use the upstream keyer to put a picture in picture on the program. You can use downstream keyer to put a watermark also on the program. We have implemented key and tie where you can put upstream keyer and downstream keyer on the preview and then cut to them next time. You can also store presets. You do that by holding this button, it lights red, it's now in store mode, and you press 1 to store preset. I choose to store another preset here. I can now return to my stored presets by activating the preset button, then pressing the input select button, which I stored on. We hope you find this project as interesting as we do. The multi-controller might turn into a real product in the future. Thanks for watching.